Commission. Brother Dykes wanted me to lead us in a testimony of service. But before I do, I want to read a little bit of God's Word. In church, we ought to really be thankful. Yes, amen. What we've heard and what we've seen here today. God doesn't move everywhere like this. And you know That's why? right. Amen. Because they won't let him. Amen. They won't let him move. But Psalms 91. Oh, my God. I was just reading this the other day, Sister Dax, in your letter that you gave me. You, you might have thought that a lot of people don't read it, but I read it. And I've read it more than once. But the Word of God says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Oh, my yes. God in Him will I praise. Glory, glory, glory. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of the pestilence. Hallelujah. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be Thy shield oh, and thy buckle. That's what we've heard here today, guys. Thank you, Lord. It's the truth of God's Word. Yes. And you know the Bible tells us, Charlotte, the truth. It takes the truth to yes. set us free. Yes. Nothing else will free us up yes. but the truth of God's Word. Yes. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, or for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that walketh that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come by thee. Amen. Only with thy eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Come on. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. To keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trample under feet. Glory. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him. And honor him, and with long life will I satisfy him and show him oh, my yes. salvation. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Don't you thank God tonight? Oh, church, we ought to have something to praise God for. Yes, amen. But don't you thank God that He said, I will set him on high because He has known my name. He knows my name, Lord. Oh, yes. I remember that night on October the 6th, 1978. Oh, just like it was yesterday. When God took that pen of diamond glory to God and He wrote this boy's name on that book of life. Oh, Thank you, Lord. He wrote it down, Lord. He wrote it down there that night. Glory to God. And I'll never, never, never forget the time. Oh, glory to God, Sister Dykes, that He put my name in the book. And now when I need Him, I can call upon Him. And I can say, Father, remember me. I'm in your book. Glory to God. I'm in your book, Jesus. Yes, I'm one of yours. Yes, Praise yes, God. That's all we need tonight, church. Yes, I thank God tonight for this service. I was sitting here while Ann was talking a while ago, and I, I remember. My brother died, so I didn't want to come tight and leave. <laughs> but I remember uh, going out and talking to Ann's mother, Sister Ada Strong. Praise the Lord. And she told me how that the Holy Ghost had, had let her see a vision. And Brother Dykes the pews, she said, was all full of red Praise the Lord. <laughs> Church, we've seen that come to pass. That was a prophecy from God. Yes. We've seen that come to pass, Brother Donnie. We've seen the house overflowing. But you know, people's getting a little bit stable. We do. All of us do at times, Pastor. But you know, tonight I thank my God. That he's got my pain, Brother Robert wrote down. Yeah. Nothing can take it away, don't Amen. Nothing can take it away. But I thank God tonight that my name's wrote down in the Lamb Book of Life. Yes. And I know, I know in whom I have believed. Come on. And I am persuaded. Come on. Oh, yes, that oh, he's yeah. able. He's yes. able to use yes. the truth, which we have committed unto him against that day. He's able tonight. You know, I was 
We was praying for me there, and I, I, I couldn't get into praying for me because I was praying for Brandon. That's the way it is with a man and his wife. We, we become one. That's right. We become one. That's, That's right. the way Jesus is with us tonight. We become one in Christ. We've got one Father, one Jesus, and one Spirit. Come on. And I thank God tonight, Brother Donnie, that He's visited us today. Yes. That message this morning, church, that Brother Dykes preached, I don't say, I mean, you probably couldn't go. You may not even be able to go to hear Dan to preach that, brother. But I thank God that you preached it. Yes. Because the truth will set us free. Yes. Who in the world would want to go to church year after year after year and die and go to hell? Oh, my, my. The Word of God says there is a way which seemeth right unto a man. But the way thereof is the, the ways of death. And we know what death is. <laughs> I don't want to die that way, Brother Donnie. I want to die knowing in whom I have lived, knowing that he that dwells in a secret place the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Well, I will say it, Lord, Brother Jerry. I can say it from the heart. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God and Him will I trust. Sit back here. I see Sister Dorcas tonight. She don't realize, I know she don't, how many seeds in my family that she planted when she led the song service at Cedar Grove. But old Sister Dorcas, you don't know at the times that we praised you and, and, and give God the praise for the, for the singing, the good singing. Yes, amen. And for the songs of the glory of God. Somebody else want to testify tonight? Come on, somebody. I praise God. I praise God because He's always washing amen. over us wherever we go. Amen. And I just thank Him for everything. Oh, to glory to God. Somebody else. Glory to God. Raymond, I remember very well the night I got saved. Yes. Never will forget it either. You won't. Oh, September the 19th, 1989. Oh, she no, said 88. 80. I thought it was 89. 88. I anyway, <laughs> she wrote it down in the Bible, but I will never forget that. And no. I, I had a determination in my mind never to go backwards. Yeah, all the way to go forward. Amen. I thank God for that. Amen. Glory to God. You're here tonight. You praise Him. Yeah, praise Lord. Praise God that you're here tonight. Somebody else. Praise the Lord tonight. I praise God. You know, Robert, I was saved, uh, well, let's say baptized in the Holy Spirit in February of 89. So, you know, I thank God for His touch, His loving touch. And Sister Peggy, I can understand what you went through oh, yeah. with I was also raised in another denomination. And it didn't scare me what I went through, but it was such a trip, you might want to say, you know, you're not understanding what was going to happen, you know. And it was unusual, but it didn't scare me. I, you know, I just... You know, tried to focus on my Heavenly Father and what I was looking for and expecting. Yes. So, you know, I thank Him. Yes. I thank Him every oh, day. I thank yes. Him for every day yes. that I get up. Yes. You know, yes, thank you, Lord. Can't thank Him enough. Amen. Glory to God. Just to Brother Tony, I want to praise the Lord tonight for this good spirit here, and I just love oh, yeah. the Lord so much, and I love everybody in the family. Praise God. We love you too. Uh, Somebody I, else. I thank the Lord for my church God's people. Right. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Somebody I else. thank the Lord for his blessings and Brother Tony, y'all have been a blessing to me too. Praise God. God bless you, Sister Jordan. Love your family. Somebody else. Brother Bill, I have to thank the Lord and praise him for that blood. <clears throat> oh yes. Oh my my, that blood that can take away the sins of the world. One drop of blood. I thank him for that tonight. I thank you that no matter how far I get into the world, he's able to bring you back through one drop of blood. Oh, I'm thankful that he's the bondage breaker. He's the bondage breaker. Oh, I praise him for that tonight. Oh, my, my. And you know what? I praise him for this church. You know, we've got, I understand the feeling of I don't want to come to table. I saw Brother Roger at the post office a few months before I started coming. I said, I don't want to come back. But I feel like the Lord's leading me back. I understand that. But you know what? I should have ran. And you know, we need to get a different ideal 
about Table Church. We need to get a different idea. I'm persuaded that if Jesus came back today, He would come back in a place just like yes, this. Amen. He wouldn't be in the big fine houses. He'd be, he was born in a barn. Hello? Amen. He would come back here. And let me tell you something. The big fine churches with their multi-million buildings did not have the spirit of the Most High like we had here tonight. We, had, we saw from heaven tonight. We saw from the Most High. We saw from the biggest and the best. Oh my, my. And we saw it in abundance. In abundance. And I'm thankful for that. And I'm persuaded we wouldn't have felt that anywhere else tonight. Oh my, my. We need to be proud. We need to be proud of Table Church. We need to be proud of what the Lord's doing here. And quit being like we're the bad relations or the poor relations or whatever. We need to hold our heads up high and say, we go to Table Church and God's moving there. And if you don't believe it, just come and see for yourself. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thanks the Lord.